Scott Thornley. I'm the Executive Director of Develop Denver, and it is my distinct pleasure to introduce, uh, to welcome all of you to our 2019 conference. So um, I, I kind of think of this like a, like a summer camp kind of thing. Uh, we heard uh, in the Parents Channel, Denver Devs the other day, uh, Justin Pullman. Is Justin here? Didn't nope. earlier. Uh, he's the guy with like the Stewie uh, avatar. He was talking about, uh, you know, he's having a hard time letting his kids go to summer camp. Uh, and then they came back and they loved it. And I was like, of course they love it. It's the most important thing there is. Oh, man, maybe that's why I keep joining these organizations that do very summer camp like activities. Uh, so the, uh, the mission of Develop Denver is to connect and educate this very community that we're all a part of. And, and on January 23rd, the, uh, the people that uh, organized this got together and we kind of reestablished our values. Wanted to uh, uh, get on the same page about why we exist, why we do all of this. And the thing that was really kind of at the center of everything that we were talking about was community. And that is everything from the work we do prepping speakers. And that's not just for our conference, but that's for uh, other conferences, for meetups. Um, and speaking of which, the work we do supporting uh, Denver's meetup scene. And also, like, maybe the most important thing that this conference could do is give us all an opportunity to be with each other for two days every year. Uh, we also uh, want to be stewards of Denver's tech community. Um, it's growing, and that's not going to stop, and it's not going to slow down. Um, and more and more companies are coming here and making this their second headquarters and uh, providing a bridge between San Francisco and New York. And we don't want to just be San Francisco too. We want to keep the things that made these companies want to be here in the first place. Uh, we also want to, want to give back. Like, I owe this community everything. A decade ago, I was a failed musician. I uh, lived in Castle Rock. Uh, I had like just gotten a job out of school, and my tech network extended to the two people on my team. <laughs> and then uh, we were using this uh, wild new technology named Ember. Uh, you know how to get that in this talk somehow. Uh, and the, uh, I went to this thing called a meetup. Uh, and so I got on my horse and went to <laughs> and, uh, and it was amazing. I was like, I would like these people to be my new friends. And that was right around the time that uh, Denver Devs was starting. And uh, I found out there were more of them. And I started going to Denver Script. And uh, indeed. And uh, then I started going to uh, Node.js. And like, really, that meetup scene like raised me. And uh, that's a thing that we want to enable and make sure that keeps going. Um, and it's also the place where I met all of you. Um, this is the place that I met Roque. This is the place that I met Kim, Guillermo, uh, Brooks, Kirsten, Carrie, Will. Like, I met all of you in this community. We also want to build people up. Um, we have the best code schools in the world, in Denver, like, no exaggeration. Uh, we have dozens of first-time speakers uh, every year. Who's a first-time speaker uh, developed member this year? <laughs> All the rest of them are probably throwing up in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, kind of a, a big part of how we view this is like, this isn't a pissing contest to see who's the best developer. Um, I think all of us like are constantly feeling like, we're not enough, and we want this to be a place where you feel great. You just feel fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. uh, and there's a there's a, always a trade-off between uh, intimacy and inclusivity, and we generally want to err on the side of inclusivity. Um, I know that it, it can sort of feel like 
Um, it's a it's a club, and everybody knows each other. Uh, nobody knows you, but uh, we want to we want this to be an environment where you're part of the club now. Uh, we want to keep the vibe of being a part of a really vibrant community, but also um, is open and welcoming to anybody who wants to join it. And by showing up today, like congratulations, you're you're in the club. <laughs> So the theme this year was uh, growth, and uh, we grew a lot. So uh, develop number one, uh, was anybody here at develop number one? Matt Webb, everybody! <laughs> so develop number one was 50 people, um, and I believe there were, uh, you did kind of impromptu talks with each other the first day, and then the first annual Bomber Peak Hackathon uh, was, the, uh, was the second day. So uh, we're substantially bigger now, um, and even in the last year, uh, we did five speaker, speaker prep workshops this year. Uh, we did two of them last year, but the first one was me and Michelle Bergquist sitting at one of those long tables at Union Station going, well, what do you want to talk about? Uh, and this year, uh, Cass and Kim and Gabby, uh, I mean, we probably had a couple hundred people go through all of those workshops. Um, we're also doing, speaking of which, this is also the second year that we've done our new workshop format, which is, uh, th these aren't uh, like passive content delivery. You can actually develop new skills. Um, and uh, for as far as like content submissions, we had 149 submissions this year. Last year we had 51. Uh, so that's outstanding. And part of that was we radically expanded our design content. You know, we've uh, historically been a little bit uh, anemic on the product and design side. And so uh, we like design folk are very much a part of this community also. And so we wanted to make sure that was reflected in our content. Um, attendance this year is up 15%. Uh, we have 456 people here today, which makes this the biggest developed Denver of all fucking time! Uh, part of uh, fueling that growth, though, is our uh, sponsors. So just briefly, I want to, uh, to shout them out because we have a lot more sponsors this year than we did in previous years. So I want to thank Checker, I want to thank Flatiron School, I want to thank Zeppelin Station, By the Pixel, By the Pixel, stalwarts every year, first one out of the gate, uh, By the Pixel is always down to support. Uh, Debitry, Relentful, Name.com, Mozilla, Invisible. How about a round of applause for our sponsors? <laughs> theme this year, but growth isn't the theme every year. Uh, we don't have like VCs that we have to impress. Uh, we do not have a scaling strategy. Uh, we don't do the thing where like we fly in programming celebrities um, and do a whole bunch of like, you know, uh, name driven uh, conference promotion. Uh, everybody who works on this conference is a volunteer. And what we really want to do uh, is not just grow the size of the conference, we want to grow our impact on the people that are part of this, and that's all of you. So this is a wildly unconventional conference. If you've been to other conferences before, this one is kind of nothing like it. And to tell you more about that, I would like to invent Develop Denver's Director of Content, a uh, close friend of mine, about to be a close friend of yours, ladies and gentlemen, here with Schlesinger. Yeah! There's so many people that I'm so fond of in the audience, and there's people I can't wait to meet. So I'm Kim Schlesinger. Uh, I'm the head of content and education, and I want to talk a little bit more about how this is not a typical tech conference. So typical tech conference is held usually at a big convention center or at one hotel where they use all of the conference rooms, and we don't do that. So one thing we do differently is we have multiple venues. So one venue is this. This is Catalyst HTI. We also have the Helicon Art Gallery down the street, the Source Hotel, which is in that direction, Bigsby's Folly, which is right next door to another venue called Zeppelin Station. We also have Big Trouble, which is the upstairs portion of Zeppelin Station. 
And our closing party will be tomorrow night at General Assembly, which is at the industry building across the bridge. So multiple venues. One thing that gets you to do is to, to move around, to see the neighborhood, but also to run into people, have conversations when you're walking to those other venues, get to know somebody you don't know. So that's one way we're unique. Another way you, we are unique is content. So like other tech conferences, we have full-length conference talks, and they are great. We've got talks about development, product, UX, UI, as well as really great career talks. But we also offer lightning talks. Those are upstairs at Zeppelin Station at Big Trouble, so that you can wander over there when you need a break or when you're having lunch. Like, go and see one or two lightning talks, see what you'll learn. We also offer workshops, which Kyle mentioned. They're active learning experiences. You're gonna walk away with a new set of skills. Those are today at Bigsby's Folly. And so at 10 o'clock, there's a workshop called Writing SQL. That is for anyone who wants to learn how to interact with the SQL database. If you've never done it before, there's a beginner track, which is for you. Go and learn how to write SQL. If you maybe learned SQL when you were in school or did it for a job, but you're a little rusty on it, we have an intermediate track you can go through. And if you're a SQL expert, we have an advanced track. So if you're curious about flexing your query muscles, go over there and find out what it's like. We also have a workshop called Sup Less at Networking. So <laughs> if being in this environment is kind of nerve wracking for you, go to that workshop and just learn a protocol for how to go up to somebody at a meetup or a conference and chat with them. At one o'clock, Scott Miller and I are offering a workshop called Cultivating Continuous Learning in Your Software Team. This is for anyone who has any, uh, early career developers on their team that they wanna know how to train up and mentor. And finally, this afternoon, we have Suck Less at Interviewing with Kyle Coberly, where you will learn how to respond to some really typical interview questions like, tell me about yourself, and tell me about a time you encountered a challenge at work. So, <laughs> workshops today at Bigsby's Following. Something else that's unique about us is we offer live performances. Those are tomorrow at Big Trouble. We're going to open with Brooks Build by Brooks Ooh. Patton. He's going to be live streaming to Twitch as he builds a deep learning neural network. After Brooks, we have Coding Garden with CJ. CJ is a JavaScript encoding wizard. And so he's going to build some project. He's going to have people who watch his streams give him constraints about what he can and cannot do. We don't know what those are right now, so we'll find out tomorrow. But if you're curious about that, go see CJ Coding Garden tomorrow. And finally, we'll have a live taping of the Sprint UX podcast with all of their, uh, what are they called, hosts? I think so. Yeah, <laughs> with lots of people joining, and that'll be a fun time. Finally, the Balmer Peak Hackathon is tomorrow. If you're not familiar, the Balmer Peak Hackathon was inspired by the XKCD webcomic. And so you'll go, you'll get, there'll be a theme for the hackathon, and um, you'll have to, you don't have to drink, but you, you'll, you'll do a lot of drinking if that's something that you choose to do. <laughs> so that leads me to my next card, which is alcohol. So we do have a bar that will be serving free alcohol. It opens at noon at Zeppelin Station. You will need a wristband, and have, you'll have your ID checked to get that wristband um, to partake in the alcohol. And you should be mindful of your consumption. Um, it's hot out. Uh, noon is very early in the day. So <laughs> just, be, just be mindful of that. All right, next thing I want to cover is the code of conduct. So you can find the code of conduct. It's at developdenver.org forward slash code dash of conduct. And the TLDR is you should be excellent with each other, but I want to get even more specific. And so I'm just going to read it out loud. So uh, we have the code of conduct to prevent harassment and to make sure it really is an inclusive community. And so harassment includes offensive verbal comments related to gender, gender identity and expression, age, sexual orientation, disability, physical appearance, body size, race, religion, sexual images in public spaces, deliberate intimidation, stalking, following, harassing, photographing or recording, sustained disruption of talks or other events, inappropriate physical contact, and unwelcome sexual attention. 
So by being at the conference, you have agreed to the code of conduct. And if you violate the code of conduct, we're going to ask you to leave. You won't be welcome at the conference. So hoping that doesn't happen. But if you are someone who's experiencing that harassment or you witness somebody else experiencing it, the conference organizers want to know. And so what you should do is you should find either me or Kyle. And you can say something like, hey, can I ask you a question? Or can, can we go talk somewhere? If Kyle and I are unavailable or you're not comfortable doing that, you can email us at hello at developdenver.org. We're checking that email address throughout the day. Uh, you can talk with anyone who is a part of the organizing committee. We have these uh, circular badges. Um, but also, if you feel like you're being harassed by one of the organizers, we have three people who are not on the organizing committee that you can reach out to. And so the first one is Scott Miller. Scott, are you in the room? I don't see him. So um, you can look up his picture on our community page, or you can just text him um, or call him. Uh, we also have, I'm going to skip down to Nina Baliga. She is at the conference today. She will not be at the conference tomorrow, but she's checking her email both days. So you can email her. It's nina at higherdiversity.us. And finally, we have Allison Lawrence Daly, who is running our registration table. But you can pull her aside, or you can slack her on Denver Devs to talk about the code of conduct. So once again, be excellent to each other. And as part of that, I'm going to bring Allison up to do a little bit of an icebreaker. So give Allison a round of applause. Thank you so much. Um, I'm Allison Daly, and this is year five for me. Um, so I'm really glad to see it grow. Um, Community is everything here, and you'll feel that. You probably felt that even on the way coming in. Um, let me just run apologies again for all of you that didn't have your name on a badge and you had to like write it with Sharpie, but we adapted and we appreciate that. Um, so we want to do a little bit of an icebreaker um, to get everyone started and sort of juiced up. So we're going to take a minute, <clears throat> and I want you for fun, pick a diagonal direction from where you're sitting. So forward left, forward right, back left, back right. Introduce yourself to that person. What's your name? And what's your favorite breakfast food? Ready? Go! Okay, thank you. That was awesome. I uh, really love the vibe in here. Now I just want to take a quick orientation to your badges. Um, in what you, what you have in your class in your, in your badge is a map and an agenda. Since we're a multi-venue event, we don't want you staring at your phones and not talking to each other on the street. So we have a map. We like to do a little analog these days. So map and agenda. You should have received also a little gift card and an envelope. Those are worth $20 to anything in Zeppelin Station. The idea is $10 for lunch today, $10 tomorrow. If you want to blow it all on ice cream in one go, <laughs> do you. Um, also, we have, uh, if you don't have the cards, because we're getting some rebooted, um, come back around lunch and we will help you out if you didn't get one with your hand out. Um, and everyone, wrist cards are also near registration. And yeah, I think that's it for my end. Um, thanks so much, Kim. Yes. Have Welcome to Develop Denver 2019. Uh, okay, so it's time to go have a Develop Denver, uh, but I would like to, uh, to give you the charge. It's the same as last year. Over the next two days, I want you to meet at least one new person. So you got a good start. Uh, you know what uh, somebody uh, diagonal from you likes for breakfast. Uh, have a conversation with somebody new. This isn't normal, uh, normal social rules. Where um, you know you see somebody on the train, you're like, "Hi, my name is Kyle. I work at the Fine Arts School." Uh, that's a little bit weird. It's not weird here. It's exactly what you should do. Um, like when you're hanging out with your friends, you got a circle. You might observe the Pac-Man rule, so you leave a space for somebody else to join you. And remember, in inclusivity. This is a this is verb. This isn't yes. tolerance. Yes. This is actively inviting people in to be a part of this community. Um, so, enjoy summer camp, and I'll see you at closing ceremonies at 5 tomorrow. Yeah!